Hey everyone, DJ here. And um, today I want to talk about the school shooting. Um, you know, this has been happening for a long time, many years. And the most famous one was the Columbine shooting. And um, it never stopped because we keep having, probably every year, we have um, a mass shooting in the schools. Parent and his son in court separately today both charged with murder for a mass school shooting at a high school in Georgia. 14-year-old Colt Gray charged as an adult with four counts of murder. His father, 54-year-old Colin Gray, also charged with murder after investigators say he gave his son the AR-15 assault-style rifle that he used to kill four people and wound nine others. I would assume anchor David Navarro here now with the very latest. David? Bill, every day we're learning more about the mass shooting this week. Investigators saying there were warning signs of trouble a year before lives were lost and students wounded. But despite questions surrounding the 14-year-old suspect in this case, investigators say his father still bought him an assault-style rifle as a Christmas gift. Guns are a big problem in America. It's not just school shootings, it's just a problem in general in America. And uh, the Second Amendment has been sheltering a lot of people because it's a right to have to own a gun. Uh, the problem is, I was trying not to make this political, but it, it definitely is a poli political issue because the only people that could actually change the gun laws and stuff like that is actually politicians. So um, Republicans actually refuse to make any changes to the law. All they want to offer is thoughts and prayers every time someone dies in a school shooting or otherwise. Now, on September 4th, 2024, a 14-year-old student named Cole Gray went into his school and killed four people. And um, he killed two teachers and two students. The nightmare has happened to them. They killed while students are trying to learn and the teachers are trying to teach and it's just it's really exhausting this keep happening over and over and over um so i don't know the motives of of cold gray but i heard that he was inspired by past school shootings and i guess he wanted to be famous there could be other reasons why he, he did this but a lot of these kids, they follow. It's not just him. A lot of people that are criminals, they see stuff that happened before and they see how infamous that person become and they want to do that. Instead of they follow what's good, they follow what's bad. Um, the good thing about this case is that um, Cole Gray's father, Colin Gray, was also arrested and he's going to be charged also. So Cole Gray's been charged and, um, for killing four people, two adults and two kids, two teenagers, and his father's been charged for providing the weapon to him. Now, I want to say that um, in May of 2023, um, someone reported Cole Gray saying he was making threats and he was saying that he was going to um, shoot up the school. And the FBI investigated um, this and they, they found that it was credible. They found that when they tracked down the person who made the threats, it came straight from um, Cold Gray. So when the local authorities um, did their own investigation, they determined that the FBI tip was inconsistent with the information discovered during the investigation. I find it like dumbfounded that the local police department have more investigating skills than the FBI. There's nobody that have more resources than the FBI. They have a lot of resources and a lot of smart people and a lot of technology um, to, to find criminals and, and figure stuff out much more than local police in any city. So now we have the father of Cole Gray, Colin Gray, after this was investigated in, in May of 2023 and nothing came of it, 
So after the local authorities drop the ball and they decide not to further investigate um, Cole Gray for the threats that he made, Christmas of 2023, Cole Gray's father, Colin Gray, decides to buy his son um, an AR-15 style rifle. Like, why would any parent buy their, their kid a, a gun, much less a 15 style rifle? I just, what world are these people living in? Are we living in a combat zone? Are we in Iraq? Because if we were in Iraq or, or some place where there's always war, I would understand. But living in a place like America, why would you need a gun like that? I don't understand this this culture. I do think that we should have less guns. And I, I definitely think that there should be a ban on these type of guns. I think that's just a, that's just common sense. I don't understand how that's not common sense to Republicans. Like certain type of guns should not be owned by by regular folks like us. I agree the Second Amendment, um, we should be able to, to own some type of pistol, right? But not those rifles and, and um, you know, the ones with, where it holds a lot of bullets. And I mean, what, why does somebody need that? I mean, if it was possible, some people would probably have um, like, like grenades and, and, and tankers and stuff in their yard. I don't, I don't understand that mentality. Like, just because you can't have something, that doesn't mean you should. So, this issue keeps coming up every couple of months and um it's hard it's hard on the families and people give them their you know their thoughts and their prayers and then they go back about their lives i don't think pe it really hits people until it happens to them i mean it, it hits me because i'm very um empathetic towards um other people who are victimized in any way but I'm telling you, those lawmakers, they're out of touch. Republicans, um, they, I think they just think about people who are voting for them. And they're thinking about money, um, lobbying and all of that. And they're not thinking about the families who have to go through this every couple of months, every year. And I think people like that should be voted out. I don't know. How, how can we do something collectively to pressure lawmakers to change the law. You know, people say that guns don't kill people, people kill people. And they say that it's all um, mental health. Well, if it's mental health, how do we determine who has mental health or not? Do we just pick people up off the street and just arrest them and put them in jail because they have mental health? How do, what do, what do we do? What's the plan? There's no plan. They just throw out these um, scenarios and these words and then everything dies down and then, so, and then it happens again. So I want to talk about parents being charged because Colin Gray, the father of Cold Gray, and listen to this. This is not, um, to me, this doesn't seem like a coincidence that Colin Gray, the father of the shooter, Cold Gray, named his son after a gun as far as my my memory goes i think there's a gun called the cold 45 i'm not much of a, a gun nut but um i remember a cold 45 is actually a gun so if this guy named his son after a gun or just a coincidence i don't know but i'm sure the father is obsessed with guns i i, I know that when i first heard the story I said to myself, he got the weapons from his parents. And most people, they say they practice um, safe guns. Most of them don't. They're giving the guns to their kids. They're having it unlocked. And I'm surprised we don't have even more incidents of gun violence in America, to be frank. So recently, prosecutors have been charging parents which is a, a big topic. So we had um, another school shooting by a kid, um, Ethan Kremley. And um, he was 15 when he opened fire on his um, Oxford High School on November 30th uh, in 2021. Um, I believe he also killed four people. 
um, on that day. Ethan Crumley's parents, Jennifer Crumley and James Crumley, were both charged also along with um, their son. Now, Ethan Crumley, obviously, he was sentenced to life behind bars, which is great. Um, that guy doesn't need to be in society. Um, and his parents were subsequently charged. And they were both convicted also, which is great. This is great news. Parents should be held accountable to some extent for their own kids. Especially when their kids are under age. When your kid is, is not an adult yet, parents should be held um, culpable to some extent for the kid's behavior. I know uh, some, in some instances, yeah, the parents could not know, but... A lot of times the parents are negligent. They're not supervising their kids. And in this case of um, Cold Gray, the father decided to buy Colt a AR-15 weapon for Christmas. That's just, I mean, imagine Christmas time is coming up and the first thing in your head is to buy your son an assault rifle. This guy, he, he, should, get, he should get at least 20 years in jail for that. He don't care about none of the other families. He doesn't care about his neighbors and and all the other kids in the school. He just cares that um, this kid has a gun in his hand. Even a kid that was reported to make threats. And even if Colt didn't make any threats, why would he think it's a good idea to give his 14-year-old son a rifle or a gun at all at 14? No way. I would never give my son a gun at 14 years old. In fact, I would try my best not to give him a gun at all. Not in the current state of, of, of what uh, the world we live in, in today in, in America. The father, Colin Gray, yeah. He's charged and I'm sure he's going to be convicted. And how many ever years that he gets, it's going to be, it's going to be deserving. Because he's what you call a terrible parent. Terrible. Terrible example he set for his child. You know, there are cases where um, parents leave the guns unlocked and the kid go and take it and um, end up shooting and killing people. This case, the parents went and buy the gun for their 14 year old son. Now, in the case of Ethan Crumley, he was 15. And his parents, um, his father specifically, bought a handgun for him. So the day after Thanksgiving, James Crumley went and bought his son, Ethan, a gun, a handgun. Why? Why? He's 15 years old. Why are you buying him a gun? So James Crumley is spending some time in jail. He and his wife, Jennifer, rightfully so. If I had my pick, I would give him... No, no less than 10 years in jail for being a terrible parent and putting other kids at risk because of their stupidity, because of their love for guns. It's like these people, they don't have a conscience. I mean, this basic common sense. So these shootings are not going to stop until Republicans make a change and a lot of the people that's voting for republicans are gun gun nuts people that's people like like james crumley and people like colin gray i i would bet any type of money that these people are republicans they just love guns it's it's sad that people have to die over and over and over innocent kids by the way who haven't even started living their lives yet and my heart breaks for them, breaks. But what I can do to help and not just talk, I'm going I'm not gonna be voting Republicans, I'll tell you that one. I'm not. I'm not gonna vote Republicans until they change until they change their stands on guns. Because I think the issue is very simple. I think that um handguns yes should be should be legal. But assault rifles and then and, and ones with all the magazines and all that, these things should be banned totally. 
nobody should have access to it. Not not kids and not adults. Because we're going to continue to have this problem over and over. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do my best um, to, to raise awareness. And one of the ways is by doing videos like this. I hope this reaches someone who can also um, have the same passion about not owning assault rifles and they can talk to somebody else. Maybe one day everyone could, could have a peaceful pro protest about guns. We need to see like half the country, the entire country in the street protesting guns. We need to make a change. It's about time. How many people are going to die? How many kids are going to die before we change? I'm going to end the video right here. We're going to see you guys in the next one.